549. Now it's time for Talking with Joe. Training Camp 2019. Joe Rose live from the WQAM studios this morning. All right, Joe, the season is still very young. The preseason and already some shakeups over at Dolphins training camp. Ryan Flores deciding mm, time for the offensive line coach to go getting rid of Pat Flaherty. Reports out of camp are that Flaherty struggled to implement the new system, which has been an issue since the spring. Joe, what do you make of the move? And as Cuno reported, there's already a replacement. Who, what do you think of him? Well, it, it's the, the whole thing. It, it, it's very strange to see hmm. this early on. Your new coaching staff. And all these guys you put together through OTAs, through many camps, as you just mentioned, and now a week into camp, less than one week into camp, and they go, hey, uh, we don't have any guys getting better right now. This group's not playing well. Our defense is, is really putting it on our offensive line every day. Uh, I don't know if it was comments made by the, by the offensive line coach, pretty strong comments a couple of days ago about Laramie Tunsil is the only guy right now that looks real good on this whole offensive line, whatever it was. Brian Flores was not happy with mm. it and, and made a change. They're lucky because uh, Coach Googs is really a good one, really, really a good one. And uh, he was here, so he's going to take over. But, boy, you talk about being put behind, uh, way behind in a, in a tough situation. He's got to come in now. Uh, get this group going again. Get the confidence up. They've got two rookies that they want to be part of this offensive line. Apparently, they weren't moving along, progressing the way everybody wanted and expected, including Mike Dieter, who they want to start at left guard. So there's been a lot of different parts to this thing that weren't taking place, and it puts a lot of pressure. Think about it. All these, a lot of these other coaches got to worry about a couple of guys. You've got five starters on the offensive mm. line plus the tight ends in there, plus all the backups that you need. And as you know, Lauren, if that offensive line doesn't work, the quarterback Nothing doesn't works. work, the <laughs> running backs don't work, exactly. and the wide receivers don't work, it's all connected. But it starts with the big sexies up front, the big 300-pound <laughs> club. That Those line. guys got to play well, and if, All right, if Joe. they don't, we, we got big problems. Coach Flores yeah. showing no nonsense right. there. He's not going to wait it out. He wants to take care of things no. right off the bat. All right, another coach not wasting any time. Manny Diaz shaking things up in Coral Gables. He's hoping to toughen up the Canes mentally and physically. Seemed to be an emphasis on the physical part yesterday as Nikosi Perry and Tate Martell were seen taking part in a tackling drill. Joe, you don't usually hit the QBs in practice. What do you think of this? Well, when you got one, you don't hit them. But if you got three and they're all competing, they all got to be active. <laughs> there you go. Because you got three of them. You got one A, one B, and one C. So that changes it. But I, I think I, I look right at the Florida Gators coming up in three and a half weeks. Lauren, they're a physical team. The Gators got a great defense. They get after you. They pounded Michigan in that bowl game not too long ago. And I think he realizes they're going to play their best opponent in week one. Hmm. Gators have a really good football team. He doesn't want to see his team get pounded. And I think he realizes, guys, we, we got to get this field because in three and a half weeks, the Florida Gators are going to play really tough SEC football, one of the more physical teams in the country. Mm -hmm. They're going to get after them pretty good, especially on it's defense. It's a good conference. It's a good conference. Can't believe that's only three and a half weeks away, Joe. I knew Joe. you'd like that. So crazy. You know I love that SEC. I set you up. <laughs> All right, Joe. I, I know you love your Gators. Thanks so much. I set you up. I, I love do. you. Thank you. <laughs> we'll talk to you later. Bye, Joe.